I don't see where my things are. Oh, I see them now. Huh. We'll see how this goes. I'm just going to keep uh, recording these and then um, see how these prints go. I got a couple things I want to. Uh, Well, things I want to actually start printing so that right there we'll see how that works out anyways see you in a bit guys it's been a long process right now you can't see it but uh, I have some things on there getting cured and uh yeah, I bought a glass plate so that way I can have the uh, LED shine through and uh, UV uh, will be able to go through and reflect as you can see around the glass too so when I get all this done uh, you guys will see it also. I'll probably put this afterwards so I don't know. I might even do it before. So. But yeah. What I'm going to do. Is pretty much follow someone else's. Um, idea. Is you're just going to run these lights all the way through here. Uh, and then. Make sure and grab the. Plug. Uh, make a hole. You know somewhere on the side. And then uh, run the lights through, and you're pretty much good. Uh, I probably will put some like uh, that's what we news just came out by itself. Uh, I might just glue that to the bottom there, but I'm not sure yet. I'm not sure. Figure it out. Anyways. What's up everyone? I am back. Now you guys aren't seeing me right now. I'm actually uh, using the app on my phone to record, see? Look at that. It's cool, isn't it? And uh, I can uh, pretty much just see where I'm at. That's all I really need it for, but today, guys, pretty cool. Let me zoom in. See if I can zoom. I should be able to zoom in, right? Let me make sure. Hold on, guys. I don't want to stop it, so. Yeah, I don't know if it's like. Controls, you have to like. Nope, I guess not. Anyways, here we go. We're going to. Lift this up. Oh, don't do that. Yeah, don't do that. This is something that I have been wanting to do since I seen it, but of course, can't. I'm gonna take this out so you guys can see it. Now, if you can't see my shirt, probably a little bit of a indication of what this is but here we are I don't have any lights per se to set this up to look a little better but uh, once I get the supports off we'll see how it looks really but I mean, I can see the the layer lines across here. Um, but the vat also, if you can see that in there, the vat is pretty um, pretty empty. So if I need to make another print, I certainly do need to uh, um, 
pour some more resin in there. But anyways, let's go to the next station here where <laughs> I'm kind of using this. Uh, I'm kind of using. Uh, don't call me. Don't be calling me. Yeah, la, 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 you can't hear that. You didn't hear that. Anyways, go into the station right here. Open it up. Have my uh, isopropyl alcohol. Let me get my glove on. The cool thing about this build plate, I know I probably touched some of the resin, guys, but I'm not 100% too worried because uh, I can go wash my hands uh, right after we're done here. But I've got a little bit on my finger, but I'm good. Get gloves on. Now, actually, I've got gloves. You guys would see it. I've got a whole bunch of those. And these were like 12 bucks, I believe. Something like that. Not very much, so I was pretty pretty happy to find it because pretty much all gloves are sold out all the time. So it kind of sucks, but here we go. Don't look at my feet, too, if you see my feet. Now, before I get to actually putting this in here, I wanted to show you guys something. I know you guys did see, uh, but yesterday I got this printed and uh, it looks pretty good, I think. Um, what I got, see, you can see the back here, had the um, supports right here wasn't like the best print i think but then again it was my first print to be honest <laughs> i cannot complain because look, look look at the detail on his face anyways um i went and bought some markers so if i if i make little prints um uh, we will certainly maybe even set this up while i'm coloring them um the only thing is is i do need to get some holding um, tweezers or something to where I can um, have something suspended in an area where I can just paint or whatever I'm using to color it. Um, anyways, back to the um, project here. Let me get my scraper. Now, I want to let you guys know I went and got a scraper at Walmart too. And it comes with blades. Now, this isn't actually sharp right here, but it is it's sharp enough um to be able to get something up here now i'm gonna try <laughs> i'm gonna try not to like screw this up so i know some of the some of it was coming up see i try not to screw it up but i y you know how things go that's okay i'm good just rubbing alcohol again let me put this in here now, the reason why I'm putting that in there is because it does clean the um, resin off of the the vat or the 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 plate. So I'm not worried about it getting in anything because rubbing alcohol does not hurt anything. You could actually throw a, a motherboard, a video card in in here. And all it will do is just clean it, so um, I'm not too worried. Um, but being, but getting all this spilled, that sucks. I only got two bottles of um, isopropyl alcohol. Um, not the huge, huge bottles, but I think they're about, I don't know, a little bit taller than this. About half, maybe about half size of that. Anyways, so I'm not worried about all this, but I am worried if the uh, the rubbing alcohol, uh, the icy propyl alcohol, is getting a little bit too white uh, and not clear. I uh, will have to drain it um, and then see if. It gets a little bit clearer once I do that. Um, I know 
this is my process, guys. Don't 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 judge me. You guys might have your own little process, but I ain't worried about touching isopropyl alcohol. It's not going to hurt me or anything else, really. I don't. Want to, I just don't want to drink it, of course. Okay, so got that done here. Get this build plate nice and dry. And I do want to thank you guys. If you guys do end up watching these videos, I'm going to be, um, like I said, this, since these are going to be a new thing for me, I've never done this before. Um, I'm going to go through my, my struggles. So if I do mess up or anything happens, you guys are going to be there. You know, it's going to be my money that's uh, uh, going to be on the line here. Uh, now, I do want to make sure and let you guys do know do know that uh, I will be doing giveaways. Um, now, there, there will be a time probably that I could uh, print stuff out and sell it. But for right now, uh, I do want to uh, give things away just to promote the channel uh it is pretty obvious uh so if you guys do like subscribe share please please uh the more likes the more uh comments the engagement anything else that you could do to help the channel um because i can't do it alone of course uh would be greatly appreciated uh so let me make sure See if my cat wants to go out. You want to go outside, cat? Come on. There's one. There you go. Okay. Back at it. Okay, so I'm new at this, uh, but like I said, I did go through right before I made the print um, and checked the, all the supports here. And I think I only removed maybe one or two supports because um, it just, I don't, I don't think they were needed. I think one of them was like right here uh, by his, uh, his hair right there. And I think there was another one. Um, I can't remember where, but anyways. Uh, I do like this. I, I'm glad I chose to get all of this done in, in um, white. Because, believe it or not, from, well, for, at least for me, believe it or not, it's a lot easier to paint something that's already white than paint something white. Just because of the fact that you're painting another color over it. Uh, and white is a pretty prominent color so I like being able to um, print these out and uh, color them and I don't have to worry about putting white on anything because <laughs> white is pretty hard uh, I think I'm accidentally breaking some of these supports off just by cleaning this off but uh, I did make this hollow so on the inside uh, I don't know if I can even get a picture of it or if there is no nope, there is no indication uh, but it does say this is PLA kit and then something in uh, Chinese or Japanese I don't I'm not sure exactly but uh, once I paint this uh, which I will do that's my whole goal uh, with making a lot of these is uh, to record me just painting them and and if <laughs> even if I mess up painting them uh, it's not just going to be figurines. Uh, we'll be doing, uh, helmets. I'll be doing a lot of other things. And that is one thing that actually I wanted to, uh, do since I have that option is a helmet. Um, and it's going to just be a starter helmet. I just want to get, uh, I want to be able to do this for a coworker and, uh, I need to be able to print out the small one uh, and then see what I need to do when I print out the big one because uh, certainly I'm going to have to do it in 
pieces and then when you do it in pieces so like let me explain this uh, when you do it in pieces so like say i cut this in half and it was bigger i'd have to glue them together of course but then when you do that of course you're going to have that middle uh, part showing you, you then you have to put stuff over it sand it down so it doesn't look like there's uh, anything any lines there um so uh i'm gonna have to do that but I ain't worried about it because I'm pretty sure there's enough tutorials that I've seen at least uh, on YouTube that gives me an indication of what I can do. Um, now let me remove these supports here while we're doing this. I hope I don't mess up anything here. Uh, come on. You guys are seeing this live so I'm not cutting this away. Okay, I might need my pliers. Hold on a second. Set this down. So I wish I could have two cameras set up and be able to flip back and forth, but that's okay. Okay, so got. I think I'll get the pliers dead well, it looks like some of the uh sides right here i'd have to clean up a little bit sorry i i'm trying i'm not even putting it on the camera my bad but um some of the sides see the the overhang um i, mean, I want to pull it off but i'm not sure i'll be able to get all of it and some of it i know i might have to just sand off but I ain't worried about it. And this is just part of the build um, floor, or I'm not sure what they call that. I'll learn as I go, I promise that. Because I might, well, I know. I, I will screw up. And I, I want to show you guys something. <laughs> so I printed out these uh, remote holders for um, LEDs. Anyways. I printed this out, I printed two of them, and it took about four hours. I know that, that's a long time. Um, but anyways, it didn't fit. It's probably, I think, like a, a millimeter or two short. So I need to redo these uh, and make them a little bit longer. But the cool thing is, is I have the, um, the prototype. I have what I need, so I don't need to worry about um anything else really it's already done so i just need to make it a little bit longer reprint it and we're good i hate having to wait for it but when uh, i can do about that so let me keep going at this here so i'm trying not to force it too much because of see how uh, I don't know if you could see it but right here where I have the tool uh, there's a little knob there so anyways oh man I don't like that it makes the cape all bumpy now so it means I'll have to go through it Sand that down. Gotta say though, I really, really like this. And I, I still need to go through and make my video for the lights, uh, the UV lights, so I can have them um, working as I wanted to, or 
have the thought process in my brain. Oh, I love that. Look at that. You can see the Superman symbol right there. Almost done. I think I always had the question after people were done pulling all these supports off, all this extra plastic, what do you do with it? And most people just throw it away. And I know there has to be a way to be able to reuse it. Um, and I'm, I'm certainly, I haven't done a lot of research, i got to be honest, on on. 3D printing and resources and materials and all that stuff. Uh, I've really only taken a look at, at printers, results, um, possibilities and stuff like that. But I certainly am interested in um, making my printer uh, kind of the be-all, end-all. Um, for that particular printer if I can like mod it and stuff like that so that way you know I don't have to be forced to buy something else uh, well I mean I don't mind buying a bigger one of course that's that's going to be my goal <laughs> I certainly want a bigger printer because if, if you look at it now let me point it back out here if you look at it now it's not that big I mean shoot I can't even tell you how tall it was but it certainly is not very tall um, so but hey I think for the most part I am done with getting all these off I mean I do have a little bit more to do but I think that's good though what do you guys think Anyways, so that is my big surprise for the day. I am pretty, pretty happy about that. Um, and what I want to do, like I said, is take this and uh, color them. Uh, I don't have the time to do all of that right this second, so if I do uh, this stuff, it will be probably like on my weekend and I could just sit here and just turn on the light and just paint and record and uh, listen to music and do anything else I want to do so um, the next step after this if you guys didn't know is putting it in contact with UV light now um, I don't have <laughs> probably gonna have to do this on my weekend or something um, and then do a voiceover but let me, let me get this set up here see I'm talking about getting this set up pretty awesome I hate that I can't have my phone flipped over the way I want to. Get over there, buddy. Okay. Good for the most part. Anyways, so here. I don't know how I'm going to make this video uh, when I do do it, but I have this. My lights are in here. This is my tray. I made it. It's glass. So that way the light can go through it. It is a kind of a little bit heavy, but uh, I did that so that way also um, I can be able to have lights under there. It will kind of heat up this a little bit, I think. So I'm going to try to make sure and 
and not have the lights touching it but uh, certainly it might be around it so I got to be aware of that uh, I'm pretty happy that uh, I got these lights because these UV lights are they help out a lot uh, let me plug it in here and show you just a little bit Bam. Can you? Of course not. But anyways, pick this up. They're on. I don't know if you can see that, but um, so what we do is we'll take these lights um, and normally they just go around, see how they uh, make contact. If you can see any of that. Um, looks a little wet when the light hits it kind of looks like it dries it up a little bit but it might take a while um, but anyways the more you do this the harder it gets um, also it uh, will make it less tacky because it feels that way um, I just noticed that He has like this little circle thing under in his crotch area. I'm not sure why it's circle circular down there. Anyways, uh, so I'll have this sitting in here for a while. Uh, for now at least until I can actually get this set up when I make the video. I don't want to do it and then, <laughs> and then, you know, say, oh, guys, I didn't record any of it. Uh, I want to try to be able to do this proper. Uh, maybe not like everyone else, of course, but uh, uh, proper enough to be able to just get it done. So, anyways, let me get my thing, my makeshift stuff right here set up. Uh, now, I don't want to touch uh, the lights to it either because it will get hot. And also, you can turn it yellow. And if it turns yellow, it's probably not the best that means it's a little bit overdone. Um, so, that is that. Let me see. Move this out of the way. Last thing that I was going to do before we go for now. Where is... Put the lid on this. I just do that so that way the light reflects off the top. But... Once I do make this video for that, it's going to be pretty awesome. Uh, let me get back in here. So, I don't know if you can see the line at all. Um, where the, 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 the vat resin line is. But anyways, uh, that's where I normally would fill it at. Uh, and if I have a bigger print... Uh, that is what I'm going to have to do anyways. Now we're going to take a look at here uh, what I'm actually going to print. Let's see. Oh, there it is right there. I don't know if you can see that. It's on the top there, top right. Right there. Let's click it. So that is what we're printing, guys. Now, I don't know how big it's going to get. I, I tried to have it as tall as the whole build plate here, but I'm not sure how it's going to go. But what I'm going to do is this is my way. Now, I could be messed up. I could do things wrong. Uh, I try not to at least. Um, I hope I don't ever mess up, but stuff happens. So but what I would try to do is I try to fill this up as much as possible. Uh, trying not to mess up anything here. I don't know the exact ratio of liquid because there is no actual visible line per se yeah, there is but not really um so 
Yeah. Let's do this. I hope I don't fill it up too much, so. It looks like that's where I had it the last time. Um, so normally what happens is it'll go up here a little bit. Uh, I'm not too worried that it goes up here because it doesn't, like, go all the way up here. It just barely goes up here, so. But I know it's supposed to make contact and go above here, so I'm not worried. Uh, as long as it's not leaking, I tried to make sure and look that... Uh, um, everything is tight. I it said before to make sure all screws are tight. Let me make sure this is. I don't remember if this is it or not. Um, but I did do that on every screw that I could think of. Because if you don't, you never know what can happen. And there's also screws, if no one knows, um, back here, even though it's, you don't really need to look at that, but um, making sure that this, these screws right here, I don't know, you could see them, those screws right here, which is the VAT uh, screws that make sure these are tight, because you do not want any leaks at all, period. Um, so, but anyways, I'm going to get started with this print. So, what we do is, if once we have it up there, we get to see it, uh, we are going to just press the play button. Easy as that, right? And here it goes. Yeah, that was probably a little too much, but hey, I ain't worried about it. I'm really not. Some people would be like, yeah, probably, but I ain't worried about it. Um, now, it, what I do when I uh, start the process here, um, they have this little indication of what's going on. Uh, so, let me, let me uh, tells you, uh, let's see, how many layers there are, how long it takes to do it, um, what the pattern looks like, whatever, which layer it's at. And then you have your pause, your stop, and your options right here. Now, I've never really done anything with that. Um, never actually ever set anything, changed anything. Uh, I might look at this one day and change the way that these are uh, going. But when I tried to change the settings uh, before putting them on the memory card, the time that it took for... The print didn't change so uh, I've been trying to find a uh, tutorial on speeding the prints up uh, through the code or G code or whatever um, so my machine can print stuff faster because five hours and 41 minutes is is quite a bit of time but I'm not worried that it's taking that long uh, I just wanted them to be quicker because I want, come on, who doesn't want stuff? Who doesn't want to be able to print stuff like this, right? And and maybe you're not an, enthu an enthusiast. Uh, maybe you don't get the excitement that uh, that I'm getting just by seeing stuff like this. Because look, you can move, guys. Come on. Like, come on. That's awesome. And then when I paint them, you know, he'll be, I don't know, chilling out over here maybe, or 
Um, maybe you'll see him one day. He'll be up here. Or he'll be over there chilling out with those, his other homies. You know? But anyways. I think that's about it, guys. Pretty tired. So I'm going to get to bed soon. Now I know if you guys comment, please. I know that's a lot. I know. I know. I ain't worried though. And you shouldn't be either. Yeah. Anyways. Peace out.